there are many different treatments for breast cancer because breast cancer isn't one disease. When you have many different subtypes of breast cancer, they're not necessarily all going to respond to the same treatment. And as clinicians, our job is to work with people and try to help them arrive at the right treatment plan for the cancer and for them. We look at several different characteristics, including the expression of hormone receptors, things like estrogen receptor or progesterone receptors. There are breast cancers that are sensitive to female reproductive hormones. We call them estrogen receptor positive cancers. There are cancers that are not sensitive to those hormonal influences. When we treat any cancer, we really have two goals. We need to get local control where the cancer is, and we need to make sure there's systemic control so the cancer doesn't go elsewhere in the body. We want to make sure that that patient is treated and can go on and lead a normal life without problems from cancer and without challenges from side effects of the treatment we've given. Surgery and radiation are primarily given to control the cancer that is in the breast and to prevent any recurrence of the cancer. As we plan an operation, it's really specific for individual patients. We can do a mastectomy and remove the entire breast, or we can do breast conservation, which is removing the area where the cancer is with a clear margin, followed by radiation therapy. And when we treat breast cancer, not only do we have to use local therapies, which are surgery and radiation, we also use medical therapies. We give treatments like hormonal therapy, chemotherapy, and immunotherapy to prevent the cancer from showing up again in some other place. A newer class of drugs we call targeted therapies. These can be oral or intravenous, and they specifically go after a protein on the tumor cell and are much more selective than our traditional chemotherapy agents, where they can be potentially more effective and in some cases have less toxicity. Immunotherapy is very important, particularly what we call triple negative breast cancers. These are tumor types that are not driven by estrogen, progesterone, or HER2, and so they tend to be our most aggressive type of breast cancer, and they have been shown to benefit greatly from the combination of chemotherapy and immunotherapy. We often talk through patients in group settings called tumor boards to really come up with the best plan. We have a big multidisciplinary team that's well coordinated and works across multiple sites. We're focused on providing the very best care to the patients we see today and trying to make that care better in the future by conducting research. We are all kind of practicing at the highest standard and we all have access to the same opportunities to do research and then to enroll our patients in other research trials. This allows patients to have the latest access to both changes in standard of care as well as the latest in clinical trials which are bringing forward the most exciting uh, evolving treatments for breast cancer. Our ways of treating breast cancer have changed over the years, and we now cure 90% of women with breast cancer. And science marches on. There are new medicines every year. There are new treatments every year. The vast majority of those women are cured today and go on and lead totally normal lives afterwards. That's my hope for everyone in the future.